This is an art attack. This is an art attack. This is art attack. <laughs> and you really want to liven it up, what you need are some wild party guests. <laughs> and here they are. Sneaker weed, wallflower, and look at that wild party animal over there. Wild party decorations. Come and have a look at this. Take two sheets of newspaper. Now, the large newspapers are best for this. And just lay one on top of the other and just line them up like that. And then it's just a case of drawing your party decorations head right across the newspaper. Now, don't draw anything too fiddly. Make it nice and simple, big and bold. Now, I'm doing a sneaker weed. So we've got nice big floppy petals here. You could do anything you like. You could do a sneaker weed. You could do a party animal, an animal's head, a spider or something. And when you've done that, carefully hold the two pieces together and then cut them out so that you have two flower shapes, like that. And then just place them down and very carefully staple all the way around the edge. Now, if you haven't got a stapler, you could always tape the edges, but it does work best if you staple this. So try and borrow one if you haven't got one. You may have one at school or something. And when you get to one of these in bits where the two petals touch each other, or where they join in like that, just staple across, because this is sometimes a weak point. And you can just strengthen it up with a staple. And continue all the way around, obviously being careful when you're using staplers, because they can be sharp in your fingers. Go all the way around, but leave a gap that's big enough to get your hand in. There it is, because we're going to stuff it. We're going to stuff it with strips of newspaper. Just tear up strips of newspaper and shove them in. Now, you have to be quite careful with this, otherwise you rip the newspaper bag. There it is, just stuff them in. It's a good idea to stuff the petals first. In it goes. And don't stuff it too much, otherwise it'll burst. The idea is to create a nice fluffy pillow. And when you've done that, staple up the opening and it's ready for painting. Now, I've painted this one a nice bright yellow. And it is a nice bright flower yellow. And what about an orange face on the other side? And you can use poster or acrylic paint for this, but I find if you use acrylic paint, it dries with a nice skin and it strengthens the job up. And now put detail on the face. Okay, I'm using a permanent marker for this. So I think first we'll do the eyes. There's the eyebrow. And an eye in there, like that. Now you might just have to scrunch your pillow down a bit, because it does stand up in places. There it is, round you go. Just make it nice and bold, nothing fancy. And just do the eye in the middle there, like that. And then the other eye, I'm going to do him winking, like this. One there, and one there, and one there. And then a nice big wide mouth of thing. And just make it as crazy as you can. There it goes, right across, like that. And then maybe put a bit of paint on as well. Nice bright red paint here for his nose. Just give him a, a silly conk right in the middle there. And what about two rosy red cheeks? One there and one there. And make it really cheeky. Just put in a great big tongue down here. There we are. Whoa. You might have to take some time over this because it's quite hard drawing on the paper crinkles. But you could always just neaten it up afterwards with some permanent marker. And that's exactly what I've done here gone over it with permanent marker and I've even put some white on the eyes, white highlight and a white highlight on the nose. And then just thread some string through one of the top petals to hang it up and then for the streamer or in the sneaker weeds case his stem I've just cut a long strip of crepe paper. Now it has to be big enough to go from the ceiling to the ground and then just tape it or tack it or even staple it onto the back 
of your decoration. Ah, there it is. And when it's party time, just hang it up. Now, it's a good idea to hang it up as high as you can get it. If you can hang it from the ceiling, it looks really effective dangling down. But be careful if you're hanging it high. Better still, get someone tall to do it for you. And then just tuck the stem into my trainer there, because after all, it is a sneaker weave. And it's lots of different designs you could do. What about doing this sort of wild party animal? It's like a spider, really, isn't it? And there's streamers there. Those streamers I've done using bin liners, black bin liners. And what about a ghost? Maybe if you're having a ghost party or a Halloween party. And again, the streamers are white bin liners. Or maybe you're not having a party at all. Well, no problems. You could still do yourself a bed bug. <laughs> Look at him. And just have him hanging around your bedroom. Try it yourself. Wild party decorations. Hello, it's the head here. Oh, they're great, those party animals. Just newspaper, staples, paint and streamers. Uh, but don't forget, get a tall adult to help you hang them from the ceiling. And then, just party! <laughs>
great picture of a rugby player. And there was I thinking it was going to be a footballer. But you know, next time he'll have to try harder. <laughs> try harder. Oh, oh. Do you know what? I used to have real problems drawing glass. I mean, there's nothing there to draw, is there? Glass is completely see-through. But then I discovered a few tricks. Try this. For flat glass, just draw two lightly drawn lines in each corner of the glass. And there you have a flat sheet of glass. And what about rounded glass? OK, take something like this light bulb. Try this trick. If you just draw a little window shape on one top edge like that, and then two little teardrop shapes down the other edge. There you have round glass. It's as simple as that. Well, let's try it in a cartoon then. Here we go. Here he is, Freddy the fish, swimming round in his glass bowl. Now, glass bowls are round, so let's draw the little window shape in there and two little teardrop shapes down the other side. There we are, nice round glass. And Freddy's bowl is next to a mirror, and that's got flat glass in it, so two lightly drawn lines in each corner, like that. And he swims around all day blowing bubbles. Now, bubbles are a bit like glass, round glass. So let's put the little window shape in up there, and maybe one teardrop there, and a window shape there. And if it's small, just a little teardrop in there. And he got very bored. He fancied a change of scene. He started to imagine himself in all sorts of places. What about a nice big tank with flat glass in the sides, two lightly drawn lines in each corner, and each sheet of glass. And there he is, swimming up and down. Now, that's boring. What about a nice, big, tall bottle, he thought, so I can dive up and down all day. Now, bottles have round glass. So there we have a little window at the top and our two little teardrops down there. Now, I need something classier, he thought. What about a nice champagne glass? Now, champagne glasses are also round, so let's put the little window shape in there and two little teardrops the other side, giving it a nice round effect. And what about the bottom of the glass? Again, that's nicely rounded, so a window in there. Now, it's not really a window, it's just a reflection. You just put one teardrop in there, I think. He fancied something more exciting. What about a spaceman's helmet? Now, that's a round glass bowl. So, again, I'm just putting a little window shape there and two tiny teardrop shapes to give it that lovely rounded effect. Now, he got fed up with that game. I think I'll stay put thought Freddy. I'll stay in me nice round glass bowl. So there's the window in there, and there's the two teardrop shapes down there. But he did manage to get a change of scene. He just moved himself next to the window. Flat glass coming up, two lightly drawn lines there, and there, and there, and there. Try it yourself. Cartoon glass. Just two lightly drawn lines for flat glass, and a little window shape, and two teardrop shapes for round glass. Now that is a really useful tip. Just remember to do two lightly drawn lines for flat glass and a window shape with two teardrop shapes for round glass. Hey, do you want to see my glass? <laughs> I broke it! <laughs> Hello, my name is Paul. I had an art attack and made this geometric face by using shape stencils and coloured pastels. Hello, my name is Elika and I had an art attack using geometric shapes. Hello, I'm Dilhani and I've made a geometrical face using shape templates and pastels. <laughs> really crazy faces there, using geometric shapes and chalk pastels. Good art attack, that. Now, you can get lots of different shapes in these geometry kits, and that's perfect, because what I'm going to do is just draw around these geometric shapes to create a real crazy face. Now, don't cheat. Just draw around these shapes. And by doing that, it forces you into creating some really bizarre features.
And you could draw around the inside of the shapes like this. And that gives you smaller curves. Or even the outside for bigger curves. <laughs> and what about the edges for straight lines? And again, a really big curve on there. And you see, you get some real crazy features just using these shapes. I think I'll try the ruler. Pretty straightforward. A nice straight line. And what about a set square? Let's try that. Ah, oh, I know what to do. There, and there, and there. And around there, like that. And then another one. Eventually, you'll have a real crazy face. And when you've done it, take some chalk or pastels, or chalk pastels, and go over all of the lines in chalk with nice, thick lines. And look at this. My chalk's breaking up here because I'm pressing so hard. Well, that's all right. I'll blow it off in a minute. But the idea is to create really thick chalk lines, so press quite hard. And you can use as many different colours as you like for this. But I'm just using pink here. And I think maybe a little change of colour here, a bit of blue for his eyes, just blue under his eyes, I think. And maybe even blue on his collar. There it is. A little bit of purple on the top of his eyes. And last but not least, some black pastel around the top. And you can, you can change what you're using, chalk to pastels, pastels back to chalk. As long as you'll get a nice dusty, smoky effect. And just put eyes in there like that. And then when you've gone over all of the lines in your chalk or your pastels, it's just a case of blowing off the excess dust <coughs> and then colouring it in. And you use your finger for this. Just go section by section across all of the lines and smear the lines into the middle of each section. I'm just smearing that chalk line into the middle of the section to colour it in. And when you do each section, go over it with another line of a darker chalk or pastel. This time I'm using just black. And then smudge that again, but not as much this time. Just smudge it a little bit. And when you've done all of the sections on your picture, you'll end up with something that looks like that. Brilliant, isn't it? And then, just to finish it off, take some cotton wool and dab it into some chalk dust. And by now, you should have loads of that knocking around. And then just dab it all over your picture, like that, to create a real classy finish. And I'm using cotton wool here. You can use your fingers for this. And then just blow off the excess dust. <coughs> and there it is. A geometric shape chalk picture. Weird, isn't it? And you can do faces like this. Or you can experiment and do weird animals. Or even create your own weirdo monster. But just use the geometric shapes. Try it yourself. A geometric shape chalk portrait. And I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.